I just, I'm just going to bring you with me. I want you to know God is still God. God is always going to be God. He does not have to have me. If I were to leave this world tonight, He's still going to be God. He's always going to be God. But I have to have Him. You understand what I'm saying? We have to have Him. Amen. We cannot survive without Him. Glory to God. You take one of these great trees growing on the hillside and you separate that from its root. It don't matter how great and mighty that it looks. You separate it from that life-giving source and after a while it'll wither up, it'll dry up, and it'll fall over when the storm comes. When we allow ourselves to be separated from God, the same thing happens to me and you. God is what keeps us alive. Amen. Amen. Where are we? Gracie began to sing that song that the Holy Ghost is in me. He's keeping me alive. I want you to know that Holy Ghost keeps me alive. That Spirit of the living God keeps me alive. But if I begin to go and allow iniquity in my life, see, I can't blame you for the things that I allow in my life. You can't blame me for the things that you allow in your life. Glory to God. But when we allow these things, children, that sin separates us from the God that we serve. Amen. I figured it'd be quiet. But you listen to me. So listen on. We are the generation of excuses. We are the generation of excuses. When we get to the place that the same thing is going on in our life, we can't get nowhere with God. And we change location. And we still can't get nowhere with God. And we change again. And we still can't get nowhere with God. Children, we need to come to the place that we realize I've got to sit down and find out what it is wrong that I'm doing. Amen. What is it with me that is not pleasing unto God? Amen. God is still God, brother. Amen. You fail and I fail, but God never fails. Rebel. God is still God, sister. You come up short and I come up short, but He never comes up short. We got a whole generation of excuses as to why I don't pray, why I don't fast, why I lay out of church. Oh, the truth. Oh. I'm going to tell you tonight anything that you know to do that is good and you don't do that. It is your sin. Amen. Not mine. Amen. Likewise, anything good that I know to do, and I don't do it. That's my sin and not yours. Amen. But you and I, I'm just telling you, we're allowing iniquity to separate us. To come between, when you separate, you divide. You part. God will walk with sin. God will not walk with sin. We, we look at all these great big things, and you mention sin, and, and people want to think all these big things. I'm telling you tonight, it's the little things. It's the little things that we dismiss and say it don't matter. Where were we? Amen. Lord, tonight could we be agreed in this that this is the truth this is the way the word was made flesh he dwelt among men this is the word Jesus Christ was the word of God he was made in the flesh he was sent into this world and by that word the blood you and I can be saved. Yeah. What this says, thou shalt not. He still means, thou shalt not. Amen. When he said, they shall, he still means, that they shall. Yeah. Glory. Glory, I feel what we call my Holy Ghost. It's His. But it's the portion that He gave to me. 
And I feel like talking to us tonight. You know, when we start to go and the service don't go over, we need to start to examine our own self. Let me examine myself. Am I still of the faith? Am I in the faith? Am I still abiding in the faith? Where glory. I thank you for what I feel in my soul. Jenny, we want the lollipops and the sugar buns. I'm here to tell you tonight you got to eat the whole book. You got to have the whole word. That angel, he didn't give half the book to John, but he gave him all of that scroll, that book. Bible called it a book, it was a scroll. He gave it all to him. He told him to eat all of it. Or he told him to be. In his mouth, he'd be sweet. He'd be all sweet. But when he got it down in his belly, it would be better. I swear, Lord, don't spit up the word of God, but keep it down. If we could ever learn to get this and take it and keep it and not spew it out, we could get somewhere with God. And I begin to tell him, Lord, there's so many. Surely somewhere you've got somebody that's still able to come and speak behold. Surely somewhere you've got somebody that that hearing and knowing of God can still get in their hands. Children, God's got it. But it's up to us to get it. Where are we? Praise the Lord, Mother. Praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glory to God. The devil's convincing us. There's a generation of excuse. But we're looking for God to move for me and you. And you listen to me. If I don't walk in a way to please the Lord, He's not obligated to do nothing for me. Hello. It's by His mercy. It's by His mercy. Oh, I've heard people say I fasted so many days and I've done this and that. I've heard Russell say, and I told the Lord, Lord, you've got to do this. And I thought to myself, you talk like a foolish man. Amen. It don't matter if you fast for a month. God does not have to do nothing. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. If we ain't careful, we'll feel like God's obligated. Like God's got to do something for us. I'm here to tell you tonight, if we, it means something to live and walk in a way that the Lord is pleased with me and you. Amen. 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 Oh, it ain't popular. It's not a happy message. Oh, we've got the attitude era. I'm going to do what I want to do, preacher. I'm going to live how I want to live. I'm going to go right ahead and continue to do this. Although God told me years ago to lay it down. I'll lay down anything but what God wants me to lay down. And you wonder why you can't get the Holy Ghost? Mm. Maybe one time I had it and you wonder why it don't move like it one time did. Very glory. I tell you one thing, we told you on the sign before you got in here, we're of the holiness faith. Yeah, That's what we're going to preach to you tonight. God, the Lord's hand is not short that it can't save. There's no fault with God. His ear is not heavy. In other words, He's not got a deaf ear huh? that it can't hear. But if we ain't careful, we can absolutely get ourselves in the shape that we allow sin to separate us from the Lord. Amen. 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 What's wrong with us, boys? Many of God's people don't walk in the fear of God. Amen. I'm walking in the fear of God. I'm afraid to speak something wrong. I'm afraid. I ask the Lord to forgive me if I think something wrong. If I'm walking in the fear of the Lord. Huh? I walk in His Spirit. I don't go worldly places and do worldly things. I try not to go anywhere that I don't believe the Lord would go. Hello, somebody. Amen. 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 
I preach to these pews if that's what I gotta do. I'm preaching to somebody. We ain't careful. People have chosen to live a, a life out on the outskirts of grace. Right out as far as they can get from the Lord. You ever see these little kids when they're with mommy or daddy? And they'll tell them, don't, don't stray off. Don't wander off. Stay where I can see you. You know what that old fellow will do? He'll get as far as he possibly can. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. They'll push it right to the very limit. Yeah. Go as far as they can see how far they can push mommy and daddy. Yeah. God's people are doing the same thing with Him. How far can I get away? It used to be how much, what can I do to get close to the Lord? Now it's how much can I do and get by with it? Where are we? Lord, I love holiness. I love holiness. God is still in the same business. But you won't have to go God's way for Him to save you. Amen. God is still in the delivering business. But we've got to humble down and go God's way for Him to deliver me and you. 